Are you tired of lag and stutters in Fortnite Chapter 6? What if I told you that with these potato graphics settings, you can get max FPS even on the Intel, AMD, or Nvidia PC? In this video, I'll show you how I turned my low-end PC into an FPS beast using the exact tweaks. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Adjusting Windows Power Throttling settings for Fortnite Potato Graphics To make sure your computer works at its highest speed, especially if your PC is slow or low-end, you should turn off something called power throttling. To do this, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. A small run box will pop up. In the box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter on your keyboard. This will open something called the Local Group, Pos Go Group Policy Editor, which lets you change deep system settings. In the left-hand panel, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates System. Then scroll down and click on the Power Management folder. Now look on the right side and find the setting called Power Throttling Settings, then double-click it. A new window will appear. Click on the setting that says Turn Off Power Throttling, and another window will open. In that window, choose Enabled. This will turn off power throttling, and your CPU will always run at full speed. This setting works in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. After you select Enabled, click Apply, then OK and then close the group policy window. Now your computer is ready to use its full power, which will help Fortnite run much smoother. Step two, setting Fortnite process priority for Fortnite potato graphics. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to make Fortnite use more power from your CPU by adjusting its process priority. This helps Fortnite run smoother and faster on your computer. First, go to the folder you downloaded called Fortnite Priority Manager. Open the folder and you will see three different files inside. The files are named Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, Fortnite High Priority. If you have a very low-end or budget PC, double-click on the file named Fortnite Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range PC, double-click on Fortnite Medium Priority. If your PC is high-end or powerful, double-click on Fortnite High Priority. After you double-click one of the files, a message will appear on your screen asking if you want to allow changes to your device. Click Yes to allow the change. This will add the priority setting to your Windows registry and will work automatically every time you launch Fortnite. This setting helps Fortnite use your processor better based on your PC type. Step 3. Boosting CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has many small units called cores, and sometimes Windows does not use all of them, especially on low-end systems. This can lower your game's performance. To fix this and use all your CPU cores, we are going to use a free program called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control. After installation, open the Park Control app. Scroll down and find the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. Click on it to select it, as this power plan helps your CPU stay at full speed. Now inside the app, check the following settings. Parking AC equals disabled parking, DC equals disabled frequency, scaling AC equals 100% frequency, scaling DC equals 100%. These settings make sure your CPU cores don't go into sleep mode. After that, enable a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This feature lets your CPU use less power during simple tasks, but turns on all power when gaming. Finally, go to your Windows Power Options and set Bitsum Highest Performance as your active plan. Click Make Active and then click Apply. This will help your CPU give full power to Fortnite for better FPS and smooth gameplay. Step 4. Fortnite Potato Graphics Settings for AMD and NVIDIA GPUs You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now let's set up Potato Graphics to get better performance in Fortnite, especially if you are using an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. First, open the folder for your graphics card. If you are using NVIDIA, open the folder called NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside, you will find two files. One is called Fortnite Optimized Settings, and the other is a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Double-click to open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. When it asks for permission, click Yes. At the top, there's a profile search bar. Type Fortnite and click on it. Now click the Import button. Go back to your desktop, open the NVIDIA Potato Graphics folder again, and select the file called Fortnite Optimized Settings. Click Open, and then click Apply Changes in the Profile Inspector. If you want to undo these settings later, just click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default. Now close the tool. If you are using AMD or Intel, go to the folder called AMD Potato Graphics. Right-click on the file called GameUserSettings.ini and click Copy. Now press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Go to Fortnite Game, Saved, Config, Windows Client, and paste the file there. 
If it asks to replace the file, click Yes. This will change your graphics settings to turn off things like grass and shadows, and reduce input delay for smoother Fortnite performance. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance in Fortnite Season 3. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To improve your game even more, we are going to use a tool called MSI Utility. This tool helps your hardware work better and reduces delays. After downloading, open the app. You will see a list of hardware components in your PC. Look for your graphics card, GPU in the list, like Nvidia or AMD. Check the box under the MSI column next to it. Then set the interrupt priority to high. If you also have an integrated GPU, like Intel UHD graphics, do the same thing. Tick the MSI box and set its priority to high. Once done, click the apply button and then close the app. This will reduce input lag and help Fortnite respond faster and feel smoother when playing. Step 6. Remove telemetry for better privacy and performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Windows runs background services called telemetry, which collect data and can slow down your system. After downloading, open the tool. Apply only the recommended settings to make safe changes. If the program asks to make a restore point, you can skip it because we already did it earlier. Be aware that disabling telemetry might affect small features like clipboard history or storage sense. If something goes wrong after applying the tweaks, just click the button called Undo All Changes to go back to the previous settings. Once done, tick the box that says Do Not Show This Message Again, then click OK. Now your system will run faster and with fewer background tasks, helping Fortnite work better. Step 7. Reduce keyboard input lag using filter keys. Setter in Fortnite Season 3 and you can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to reduce the delay between your keyboard input and your game's reaction, making your gameplay feel more responsive. Open the tool called Filter Keys Setter. When it opens, change the following settings. Set Ignore Under to 0 or Enems. Set Repeat Delay to 130 Ems. Set Repeat Rate to 10 so after entering these values, check the small box on the side to enable the settings. Then click OK to apply and save them. These changes will make your keyboard input faster and reduce any delays when playing Fortnite Season 3. Step 8. Turn on game mode and adjust graphic settings for Fortnite. Season 3, in this final step, we will turn on game mode and make sure Fortnite is using the right graphic settings. First, go to Windows Settings, then search for Game Mode and click on it. Make sure Game Mode is turned on. Game mode helps your computer focus on the game and stop background apps. Now go back to settings and search for graphics settings. Open it and click browse. Navigate to your Fortnite Season 3 folder and add the Fortnite client Win64 shipping. XE file. Once it's added, click on it in the list, then click options and choose high performance. Click save. This will tell your graphics card to always give full power to Fortnite for the best possible performance and FPS. If this full Fortnite Season 3 potato graphics and FPS boost guide helped you, be sure to click like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more powerful optimization guides. See you in the next video.